Hello, welcome back again to Engineering Semester Channel. Today let's start the another interesting topics of the WebRTC tutorial series. If you are new to this channel or new to this WebRTC series, please go and watch our introduction part first. Today let us see Session Description Protocol SDP and how it will be used in WebRTC peer-to-peer -peer connection. Let us get started. In the last video we have discussed the Get User Media and RTC Peer Connection APIs. So now you understood that RTC Peer Connection object is the core part of the WebRTC connection. We already discussed about how user can connect each other in WebRTC. But we did not discuss what are the initial problems can face in a WebRTC connection. We already know that initiating a peer-to-peer -peer connection required a public IP address. Consider some of the cases like peer users are in same network. In this case, it is very easy to find the IP address of the peers. It won't make any delay in the connection process. Now let us assume that clients are in different network and they both have distinct private networks. Here, there is high chances for user is under firewall and NAT. In this case, it is very difficult to find the user details for WebRTC peer connection. Also another possible scenario can happen like The peer may be offline or unreachable, busy, or not interested in initiating a connection with the other users. But to initiate a session, we must first gather the possible IP address and port details. This is mandatory for WebRTC connection. How can you get rid of these problems? How WebRTC solve these problems? Here comes ICE protocol. The good news is that WebRTC solves one of the problems on our behalf. The built-in ICE protocol performs the necessary routing and connectivity checks. Other problems can solve with signaling server. We already discussed about the signaling server in the previous videos. I hope you are remembering the signaling server concept. In order to start the WebRTC peer connection, users should connect in the shared signaling server. So signaling server can exchange the necessary information about each user's IP address and other metadata. Now another problem is how signaling server can get those information. For that, session description protocol SDP will help to create the session parameters for each user. WebRTC uses session description protocol to describe the parameters of the peer-to-peer -peer connection. SDP is a simple text-based protocol. SDP does not deliver any media itself. Instead, it is used to describe the session profile, which represents a list of properties of the connection, including audio, video, and application data, network data, codecs, bandwidth information, and other metadata types. To create a session profile, WebRTC allow us to use its own function. That is, create offer. Once the audio and video stream are requested by Get User Media API, Using RTC peer connection object, we can call createOffer method to generate the SDP description of the intended session. One important thing to note, that WebRTC applications do not have to deal with SDP directly. The JavaScript session establishment protocol JSEP abstracts all the inner workings of SDP behind a few simple method calls on the RTC peer connection object. Once the offer is generated, it can be sent to the remote peer through the signaling server. Now signaling server can get those offer request and it will send to remote peer. Remote peer can send answer request through signaling server using answer method. Once an offer is created, user must to set it as local description of the session. And once SDP answer is received from peer user, he must sets the answer as the remote description of the session. Now let us see the syntax of create offer. Local description. Create answer and remote description methods. RTC peer connection object is required to use these functions. Here these are the steps we already explained before. You can see the step-by-steps process of WebRTC SDP. Also you can see a diagrammatic view of the SDP process. In this diagram, shared signaling server is used to exchange the SDP message across the peer users. Initially, the createOffer method is used to create offer and set this as the local description. Next the offer will send to the signaling server. Signaling server will send this offer to peer user. Peer user will be accept the offer and set as its remote description. 
then it create a answer and send back to signaling server. Finally signaling server send back to the local user and local user set the remote description. I hope now you understood the flow of SDP better. So let us see a real example next. Here I have taken a sample application from WebRTC GitHub. I will give in this link in the description below. Here their two video frame is available. One is local user and remote user. Once you allow the camera and audio and call the remote user by clicking call button, then it will generate SDP offer and answer request. Let us go and see now. When I click the start button, you can see get user media API prompt the permission of video and audio. Once you allow it, you can see the camera frame is active with video stream. When you press the call button, you can see the RTC peer connect object is created by the WebRTC. Also, you can see the offer request. This is the SDP offer profile information of the local user. Then it set the local description with that offer. Next, when the peer user accept the offer, it will send the answer request. You can see that here. And finally, you can see the ICE state changes. We can discuss ICE in the upcoming videos. That's it for now. I hope you got an idea of about session description protocol used in WebRTC with SDP offer and answer. Let us see more in the upcoming videos. If you are thinking this is informative, then like and share subscribe. Also support us. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.